It is a great pleasure to have an interview here at this convention and I think health, healthy living, healthy aging is a really modern, a really important topic. We all get older but we have to focus what does health mean. Very often people only think of the abilities of walking, of moving, uh, these big illnesses like cancer, like cardiovascular events, allergies. Allergies really are often not in the focus. And allergies are the most frequent chronic disease. Actually, especially in the part of the population who's younger, who's productive, who's working or studying. And the numbers are, are, are frightening high. Meanwhile, in all industrialized countries in the European Union, we Think about 40% of the age group, 20 to 40 year old, they are suffering from allergies. However, allergy, it is a term which often is trivialized. People think, hey, it's a little bit of itch, don't worry. It's a little bit of sneezing, a little bit of runny nose, tearful eyes. No, it's much more. You have to know 8% of traffic accidents They occur due to allergies. And, and why? If you sneeze, you close your eyes. It's a reflex. Just imagine on one of these lovely mountain roads you have here in Austria. You just go right straight ahead. Well, that's bad for your health. So healthy living and allergies, they are closely connected. And I can give you more figures. It's, it's also productivity. A child at school having an untreated allergic Rhinitis has a 40% chance to drop a grade. That's not necessary. We don't want that. If you're in business, if you're working, you cannot really concentrate as well as you should. And actually, we've been working with Harvard economists and the European Union now accepts this as really figures. In the European Union, A hundred billion euros on average are lost for society due to undertreatment in allergies. Well, that's a figure. And on the one hand, that's actually what, what's bothering us as doctors. We need to get information into the public. If you've got allergies, go to the doctor, get your diagnosis, get your treatment. But what does that have to do with all your aspects here at your conference? Uh, you're not the doctors, but you are an important aspect in life. Healthy living is a new style if you also go on holidays. And actually, if you go on holidays, you should get real relaxation. You should be refreshed when you come back. For people with allergies, that can be a true problem. So what we did is really with a team of All the professors in the EU network, Galen, Global Allergy and Asthma European Network sit together with experts all over the world conferencing, thinking what are the standards, what we need to have a better life with allergies in, in everyday life. And the result of that is in some way represented also in the work of the European Allergy Foundation, which gives a seal for allergy-friendly products and services and especially when traveling this is essential J just imagine you've got a food allergy and maybe you don't tolerate let's say uh, something easy egg well that's not so difficult to omit you think or maybe you have lactose intolerance it seems easy if you're in a city like Vienna but if you travel into some village in the mountains hey, it's not that easy. You can't just go to the big supermarket, buy your lactose or gluten-free bread, lactose-free milk, yogurt. You're dependent on the hotel. And that's actually why we have certificates for allergy friendliness in hotels. Starting with easy things. You need a place where you're sure that you don't encounter pet contact, indirect pet contact. If you're an asthmatic, if you're cat or dog allergic, You go to your room at night, you don't know the day before someone with a dog or a cat has been occupying that room. You wake up in the middle of the night with an asthma attack. You don't want that. You want safety when you're on holidays. And you want to go to the restaurant if you're food allergic and know easy things. 
yeah, I can buy a cappuccino with lactose-free milk. I can be sure that these noodles are egg-free or something is not free. We need that. And the seal actually offers not only algae friendliness for, for single hotels or restaurants. Uh, in fact, we've got whole communities in different countries now who, as a community, said, hey, that's that's an important aspect in modern life. Why don't we come together? So the bakery has some products where they say, hey, you're sure this is not free. There are restaurants in town. There are cafes where you can have your cappuccino without lactose, maybe an ice cream parlor, also important. Then we've got the hotels adhering to the stands. And actually, as important, also private apartments where you can stay and you're sure there's not a dog right been staying before you came. So I think this is an idea, a novel idea, and it's also good for the community because the community itself really has an advantage. The children in the community, they go to school. They should know about allergies and have your treatment and have your better marks at school. We are a knowledge society and we, we, we want to get better. So overall, I think this is a very important trend in tourism also to Think of the novel standards which could be offered to a, a huge group of the people in our society and especially the young people traveling with their children. And you can say at least in every second household in the EU there is one allergic person when they are traveling. So overall I think this is something where we can do a lot of good for a better life with allergies and that's our focus. So thank you very much for having me here on video and I wish you a wonderful conference. By the way, don't forget, we move on with this. And if you're interested in more, look at what we propose to do at the EU level. We will have conferences there and maybe we can meet again in March next year.